All right, welcome back. So it took CAD on my computer to about three to four minutes to finally open up and load. Um, so what happens here now is CAD then typically needs to have a larger screen. On the Chromebooks, you're going to have a smaller size screen, so you're going to have to do a lot of zooming and, and moving around to find uh, your workspace and, and set up your drawings and those things, which is fine. Uh, you'll still have to do the same thing on the CAD laptops. But this is now what comes up. So again, it's going to take you three, four, five minutes to load. Please, as much as you can, don't close the program. So usually 99% of the time you get this little warning. It talks about resolution. Great, fine. Just click OK. Um, wait a little bit longer here. And now you can see AutoCAD now starts to officially open up. Uh, AutoCAD is a very large program. It's going to take a while to get all the different functions to open up here, um, get your tool boards to set up, and those things. So now CAD is officially opened here, and it's going to have a multitude of different things that you can do. When we start this program, you're going to have to do the readings in the book. You're going to have to follow the bold key terms, the vocab, and you're also going to be looking in the side margins and a lot of pictures and icons. So on here we're going to have a multitude of different things to do. Uh, but one of the things that we need to do first here now is actually go and put Google Drive to save your work as you now see on your screen here. So there's this little picture up here that shows you step one. We're going to click on a folder right here. And if I present this, it should be a little bit bigger for you to view. So we're going to open up a folder. We want to click Add Storage, and we should be able to add Google Drive. Now, that's if everything works. And we do know at times things don't always work. So here's that little folder that we want to click on here. Want to now add storage. So again, we clicked on this folder of My Files. Want to add storage. Click on your Google Drive. And if it works now, we should be able to now use your account for school. We can allow then the Amazon AWS program to use our work. And now you can see now Google Drive shows up. Okay, so we can close that out. So we do a little folder. <clears throat> if Google Drive is not showing like you now see on my screen, click that Add Storage Upload Storage. Use the at isd728.org extension, and now here's your Google Drive. So this is now where we're going to save all of our work in your Google Drive. So you should create a CAD folder to keep all of your drawings in one location. Okay, so now this is what our CAD is going to look like on the Chromebook. So we've downloaded it. We've got it to open. We've now added our space to save, which will be on our Google Drive app. And now eventually then we can start to create the different assigned work that you're going to need for class. Okay. Now there'll be other videos to follow here about how to do most of the work. But a lot of times we just start with a blank drawing here. And then we just follow the steps that we see on the textbook which will be available online. All the work is done online. And then for those of you doing this in a particularly a distance learning format, if you don't have a CAD laptop, you will have to share your drawings with me via Google Docs. Then I'll be able to print them out full size uh, at school, grade them, scan them, and then email them back to you. So this now concludes getting the CAD program added to your Chromebook. This now also concludes getting your Google Drive to save your work. And then the next set of videos is now going to be on AutoCAD for each different chapter or unit that we're going to work on, which also will include assignments found on Schoology. If you have any questions anytime, feel free to take a screenshot of what you're doing, email it to me, and I'll do the best I can to get back to you in timely fashion. See you next time.